Okay, so around um, around a question I was asked on um, uh, sex addiction, porn addiction, step one in 12 step groups, uh, which is the best spiritual pathway? And what about free will and step one and powerlessness? Okay, let's talk about step one. So there, there are various 12 step groups that deal, addiction groups that deal with addiction related to sex and porn. Um, and um, so the, the step one in all addiction groups, whether it's sex or porn or alcohol or relationships is powerlessness. So the ego, uh, the ego hasn't got the, the power to let go of addiction because it doesn't want to let go of addiction. The ego, want, the ego wants you to go more and more into illusion. Uh, so to be identified with the, the thinking or the ego, the, the more you tend to go into um, these darker realms, the more identified you are with thoughts, the darker the world becomes. And the more you go into your head, eventually, uh, as you get dragged into those thoughts, you go into the addictive realms where you can can be life threatening, you can become suicidal, uh, you can commit crimes, um, uh, you you lose your morality, uh, and uh, you become the opposite of of, of of the saints and the enlightened teachers, as you're driven. So the ego wants to get you as far away from being in the infinite presence uh, and the infinite light as possible. So eventually, the twelve steps are for those who no longer have can can stop it they say even though something in me wants to stop this addiction even i cannot stop it i feel like i haven't my ego my self will uh has not got the power within it and it doesn't the ego doesn't want to give it up it's quite happy you know it doesn't want to lose its authority to for you to have the illusion that it's the uh, that you are the center of the universe so that's the admission of powerlessness so step one is powerless, only a higher power. If you turn to the infinite power, the, the power beyond the ego, then that power will come to aid you and, and give you give the power that necessary to come out of the addiction, which you no longer can get out of. You know, like if you say to an alcoholic, even though they know that they're drinking and it's killing them, they can't stop. They just carry on drinking. Or you say to um, pornography addict like uh, stop watching porn forever more it's bad for you and they say yes i know it's bad for me but they can't stop so that that's powerlessness so but when they start praying when they start going to the spiritual groups uh, it seems like there's the en an energy of of a higher power of a spiritual power a greater power or an infinite power starts to loosen those thoughts and the addiction starts to stop as they work those programs in 12-step groups or other groups so that's the meaning of powerless. What about free will? Well, you know, I would say it's better to to, um, uh, to see, see it from the level of levels of consciousness rather than free will, because um, uh, so at the um, an addict, you know, uh, is being run by very dark energies, um, and so. It's more like one is a reflection of a le level of consciousness. So as you go into very high levels of density of thinking, you're cut off from the infinite light of grace and God and enlightenment. So in those, in those extremely, when you're thinking at 100 miles an hour, there is no light coming in. So you, it's like you tune into a radio station of complete darkness, where the thoughts are, are extremely negative like look at porn, steal money, uh, be horrible to people, judge people, think about yourself all the time, think, think about your survival. Uh, the thoughts become very, very uh, dark. So, uh, and that's actually not, I would say that's more like you're, you've tuned into that radio station of darkness because you're cut off from the light. As you start to do spiritual work, join a 12-step group, of course, miracles group, whatever. Uh, you're starting to let go of, of your thoughts and your dependency on your ego as the center of the universe. And you're starting to pray, starting to meditate, starting to ask the intervention from the higher realms to let go of the density of thoughts. And you're tuning into higher vibrations where there'll be less thinking, 
there's more light coming in. And so now those, um, because there's more light of the infinite coming in and there's less thoughts, then you're now tuned into a higher radio station where there's more love. Suddenly these addictions start dropping away. Uh, suddenly there's more presence and peace and joy just in being. As you get higher and uh, into the higher spiritual realms, is now you're tuned into the infinite levels beyond thought. So, so there is no no one. Uh, there is you know free will. I mean, what is free will? I mean, it's like, what is the chooser? Well, as long as there, you could say, if there is um, on a simplistic level, if you're identified with thought, there seems to be the idea of free choice. You see, but what if there was no identification identification with thought? Who'd be choosing anything? There is no one there to choose anything, you see? So it's just the reflection of the infinite. There is no chooser. It'd be beyond the chooser. Um, so you could say um, there is an aspect of grace, which is letting go of the idea of the illusion of, uh, of a thinker or a doer. And that then takes you back into the infinite, you see, beyond the idea of a chooser choosing anything. Your reflection, your reflection of, of the infinite presence, you see, uh, beyond thought and beyond a chooser or a doer. Uh, but the, it does seem like that. When you're, in, when you're in thinking, you're identified with thought, there seems to be a me independent from the infinite silence that seems to have the power of choice. Like today, I can um, eat donuts the whole day or I can choose to go to a spiritual group the whole day. So it seems like I have the... Um, uh, I, I, I can choose, you see, and, and if you can choose, uh, while you think you can choose, then I think it's good to choose the spiritual pathway, because choosing the ego pathway leads to um, more darkness as you go down the levels of consciousness. So that's step one. Understand that your ego, whenever you go to a spiritual group, which is going to be good for you, your, your ego will hate it and want you to take you out of that group. So... Um, uh, the ego gets viciously angry if you go to a group that will mean liberation from the ego. So it will say, like, uh, better to eat donuts today than go to that spiritual group. Or this group is horrible because I uh, everyone else is different to me and uh, I should leave this group. So your ego is going to be happy. But you've got to understand that when you go to these groups, if you apply the spiritual work they teach you in the group, then eventually you transcend what you transcend your ego uh, in the group. So I, I remember in a 12 step group, I had um, someone I was helping and they told me they hated everyone in the group and they didn't like the group. They asked me to help them. So I told them to do a step four inventory and pray for everyone in the group that they didn't like, you know, to remove their resentments until they felt only love for everyone. Then they followed my uh, suggestions it was so miraculous and they used to tell me they hated everyone they couldn't stand the group they didn't want to go there after they did the spiritual processes they, they told me they loved the group and they couldn't wait to get back to the group so you can see that it's not the group it's your ego uh, your ego loves donuts and sex and uh, thinking and all of that stuff because that's where the ego uh, domain but in a spiritual group that's okay you can talk about your addictions and things but then you have to apply what the group teaches until all that's gone. Out there in the world, you won't get that opportunity because the world is based on ego. The, the world is based on self-will, it's not based on transcending the ego. So the spiritual groups are where you'll get the tools to transcend the ego. Um, the other thing to know with 12-step groups and course in miracle groups is that the energy fields within the 12-step groups and that people that help you within the 12-step groups, you're like having a bath of spiritual energy. And as long as you have a regular bath of spiritual energy, that energy will help, you know, the, the high vibrations of all the people that have done spiritual work in the group, when they come together, creates a very high vibration in the group. So even if you come in a dark place in addiction into these groups, we just keep coming back to these groups, the energy, the high energy in these groups will start washing out your darkness and you'll eventually start wanting to apply the spiritual practices. Eventually, even though your ego says that you can't stand all the people in there, eventually you'll start to love the group 
because the love that you need is actually the absence of thought. It's not actually being in the ego. You've got to understand addiction is like the illusion that if you eat a donut, you have sex with a woman or or whatever it is. You see, that, that that's like chasing a temporary piece of happiness that doesn't last very long and puts you into addiction. Like uh, I'm, a, I'm, a sugar, I'm a food addict, so if I eat a cream cake, I'm happy for 10 seconds, but then I want another cream cake and another cream cake. And the same with any addiction, alcohol, relationships. So that you chase the happiness from the world. But when you're doing spiritual work, you're letting go of the world being the source of happiness. And you're finding that love and happiness from the source, from the infinite presence. So all addictions and everything in the world. So for someone with a strong spiritual connection, they're happy without anything needing anything in the world to make them happy i don't you know i'm happy because i'm in the presence i don't need a donut to make me more happy i don't need sex with a woman to make me more happy i don't need a, i don't need money to make me more happy happiness is my natural state i in my happiness when i'm in the infant presence is happiness at 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 a level of 100 i don't need any there's nothing in the world that can make me more happy than that so all addictions drop away if you're in your thinking and you think that a donut can make you happy or sex can make you happy, then you're in bondage. You're in addiction because your head will tell you you need more donuts or more sex or whatever it is, more, more doing to make you happy. So that way leads to, that way doesn't lead to spirituality. That actually leads to more ego inflation. So even if you don't, um, you don't like the groups, stick with the groups which are good. I recommend 12 step groups, of course, the miracles groups, self inquiry groups, Ramana Maharishi. All those groups will, in my view, lead you to freedom. Okay.